The first order of business is the Phoenix Suns. The Phoenix Suns have a superstar in their squad named Kevin Durant, a perennial all-star, first ballot, future Hall of Famer without question, uh, a two-time champion, a two-time NBA Finals MVP. That's the star of their team, even if Devin Booker and Bradley Beal is on it. And the Phoenix Suns will be playing in Brooklyn tonight against the Nets, where Kevin Durant will return to the Barclay Arena for the first time since he departed last season after playing three and a half years there. All eyes and ears will be on the reception that the Brooklyn crowd shows Durant when he steps onto the court. And all I have to say is, he is the one person the Barclays should actually show some love to. Don't get it twisted. Kevin Durant is not perfect, and I get all of that. But he is a superstar. He has never cheated the game. When he is healthy, he plays. He gives it all he has. In his postseason career in Brooklyn, he averaged 32. Do you remember the game in 2021 in the Eastern Conference semifinals in Game 5 against Milwaukee after Kyrie Irving goes down with a twisted ankle the game before? And they can't afford to lose that game. What does Kevin Durant do? Without Kyrie Irving, without the injured James Harden at the time as well, who had arrived on the team. Kevin Durant dropped 49, 17, and 10 in that game five. I had predicted that morning on my daytime job that he'd have 50, and he missed the free throw in the last minute that negated him from dropping 50 that game. This is Kevin Durant we're talking about. This is KD Trey we're talking about. This is one of the most prolific scorers the game has ever seen, who, by the way, <coughs> excuse me, who, by the way, chose to go to Brooklyn. Now I'm a diehard New York Knicks fan all day, every day. And I love Brooklyn, I love the boroughs, but it's about the Knicks, it ain't about the Brooklyn Nets. I believe that Kevin Durant goes to the New York Knicks. I don't think he would have ever left. I thought the city would have loved him and held on to him and he would have never wanted to leave. I think he would have worth, been worth at least a half a billion dollars, more than he's already worth. I think he made a mistake going to Brooklyn, but he chose the Brooklyn Nets and he put the borough of Brooklyn on the map in a way that no other sports franchise ever could outside of the Brooklyn Dodgers from the 50s. This is who we're talking about here. And Kyrie Irving getting injured or getting into one situation after another that derailed his existence on a court. James Harden being perpetually injured and ultimately wanting out of Brooklyn because he just wasn't happy there and he was always looking to go to Philadelphia where Daryl Morey, his former boss in Houston was. Kevin Durant still showed up every night and still kept them competitive. Even though him, James Harden, and Kyrie Irving only played 16 games together, 16, and even though Kevin Durant only played in 62% of his games in Brooklyn, you see the numbers, career with the Nets, 29 points per game on 53% shooting, seven rebounds, 5.8 assists. And this is after missing the entire 2019-2020 season because of the Achilles tear he suffered in the finals when he was a Golden State Warrior. It's Kevin Durant, y'all. Brooklyn has nothing to complain about when it comes to him. He never cheated you. The star that Kevin Durant is, he was when he was there on the basketball court for you. He should receive nothing but tremendous applause for what he's meant to that franchise. And the fact that he chose the Brooklyn Nets over the New York Knicks, which is clearly a more marketable and a more, a more profitable franchise, shows you what he was about. Love Kevin Durant. Only blemish of him is that he couldn't reel in Kyrie Irving. You depart from Steph Curry to go play with Kyrie Irving. I don't give a damn what Kyrie Irving's got going on in his life. You got to get him on that basketball court with you. Yo, bro, we here to win a chip, ain't we? Ain't we here to win a chip? What you doing? He couldn't do that. That's the blemish against him. But it shouldn't affect the love and affection the borough of Brooklyn feels for him and should be willing to show him tonight when he shows up at the Barclay.